If you're looking for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable coins in the market, be sure to check out EasyMutt.com. Use discount code DSG at checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is DSG or Commission today with another Man24 video. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get coins right now on Man24. In case you guys didn't know here on the channel, all I do is talk about no money spent methods. So if you guys are looking for coin trading points or XP, this is the place to be. Because like I said, all I do is post no money spent methods. As always, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And I will answer your comment as soon as possible. Today, best coin making methods. We have a few things to go over. This is a really good day to make coins. It's Michael Vick Day. If you got the card, if you don't have the card, I'll give you guys a little bit of a breakdown at the end of the video if you are interested in that. But there's a lot of ways to make coins today. It is a great coin making day here in Madden. And we're just going to dive into this because we have a lot of stuff to talk about. So starting off, this is one of the best auction house days we've had all year. And what I usually say is like one individual filter for like a certain overall. Right now, any any filter, it does not matter what program it is, as long as it's 82 to 83, these are just so profitable right now. It's just the way the prices are. Any card that is like between like 25 and, you know, 40K, those are your best snipes. And any 82 to 83 right now is really where you want to be at. So... Corley is pretty good. You want to go to newest these uh, you know 82s here. You want to sell or you want to buy for under 20k. Put them back up for 22k, and that's where your profit kind of starts there. Anything under 20k is where you want to snipe. Put them up for 22k. They will sell. 83s will sell in the mid 30s, uh, and then you want to buy these for about 28k, right? Put them up for like 33, 34k. Sometimes it depends on the card, right? Because some of these like offensive linemen can sometimes go for more. So that's that. Also. And then, you know, not just talking about Coralie here, we have Legends, right? These guys are also some really good snipes right now. The positions you want to look for here are the only four Legend positions we've had for these 82s is tight end. Uh, yeah, yeah, wait, what is it? Yeah, tight end, quarterback, uh, right end, and left outside linebacker. So those are your four positions right there. These cards here, you obviously don't want to go to newest, you just want to go to buy now. These cards will sell for a little over 20K. You could put them up for like 20.5, and they will sell. And your profit starts off here at 18K. The cool thing about this is I made like 100k off this this morning, and I only did it for a little over an hour. There was not I, I've had a busy day, so I would, you know wasn't able to just sit on this and just flip over and over again all day. But the cool thing about this, there's a ton of cards that are being put up constantly. I put this out on Twitter actually earlier today, so if you want to go follow me over there, it's totally free, everything like that. I put out methods a few times a week, and you'll get them early. So, or even just Twitter exclusive methods. So if you want to go that, go follow that. Link is in the pinned comment down below. Go drop me a follow. But yeah. This is a really good filter right now. And then for 83s, what I do like right now as well, people don't, they're kind of forgetting about this already. These cards here, these have rise, like going up in price about 5,000 coins. You could buy these last night for 29K. They're already up to 37K pretty much, okay? So these can be some pretty good snipes as well from time to time. Here though, you just want to go offense, all defense. That should work. There aren't too many of these cards up, so you can just go out offense, all defense, and then repost these cards for, you know, 35 to 36, 37K, and they will sell eventually. Maybe not instantly. These uh, ultimate kickoff cards take a little longer to sell. Like right there, boom, look at that. That's an amazing snipe right there. Already got uh, picked up though. So yeah, 82 to 83s just pop off right now. I highly recommend you put your time into that. By far the best way to make coins. Let's talk about my plans for investing this weekend, right? Obviously, that's like the best way to make coins, in my opinion, is to just invest, and you got to hit, obviously. You got to get it right. So what I'm doing here... For one, I'm trying out a bunch of different cards. I spent a lot of coins today, and I opened up all those Legend Packs that I had saved from the Mystery Packs. Had pretty good luck with that. That made me a lot of coins. I pulled 85 Mike Vick, so that saved me a lot for building the set. That saved me over 400k. And I was actually almost able to build the entire set. I only had to buy 185 myself, so that worked out really well. But, you know, I'm trying out a bunch of cards right now, and I was trying to buy some of these 88s for cheap, just to hold on to them, right? Because there was, like, some pack in the store. It's like a $50 bundle or something like that. You get a guaranteed 88 was a great opportunity to buy some of these 88s for cheap. Some of these cards dropped down to like 260 or so. You had to sign them for 260, but look at that. They're already back up to about 300K. I expect these cards to go up to like 320. So I might just hold on to this for a little bit. It was either Bruce Smith or Shannon Sharp. Had to be one of the two. I just bought one of them. Just kind of like a low risk investment. Maybe I make a few thousand, you know, 20, 30, 40,000 coins off that. But you can keep that in mind. If you want to try to snipe one of these guys tonight for, it's going to have to be tonight for you know like 350 or yeah sorry 250 or like 260 wait a little bit and then resell them maybe they go up to like 330 or 325 something like that resell them throughout the week that is that all right now next thing we can talk about here are 84s these are not a bad investment you're gonna get a ton of these throughout the week or not throughout the week uh you know right now being posted on the auction house these have already gone from price like 10k earlier this morning these were these were 50k snipes 
Actually, you could find a ton of these for 50K. You could buy these in the high 40s. So they've already gone up a ton. Maybe you, we've already missed out on this. If you're going to invest in 84s, that's for sure a possibility. Maybe we already missed out on this. So, you know, this is this is possible here. If you want to try to, you know, snipe some of these off for 50K, by all means, go ahead. It's definitely an option. It's just I think we're a little bit too late if you're going to invest in 84s. Let's talk about 82s. I think what I'm going to do here for these 82s, put in about 200K, just something nice and light. Nothing insane. Maybe they go up a few thousand coins throughout the week. My buy-in price for these 82s is going to be about 18K. I expect them to rise up to about 22K throughout the week, meaning we make 2,000 coins per card. Put 200K into this, maybe make 50,000 coins. It's not a super heavy investment, but it's just something to keep us going and get a little bit of coin flow going. And worst comes to worst, I'm buying these as snipes as it is. You know, you can see I've already bought a few of these cards here. Uh, worst comes to worst is that if these just don't rise in price, I already sniped them and I already bought them for good training value. So what can I do? I can come here and quick sell all these 82s here for 2100 training. Do that Friday night. Go roll some mystery packs, have some legend packs ready for next Saturday, and then I'll have those to work with. So that is my plan with that. Right now, I'm just trying out different cards. Like I bought this guy today, or I bought this guy last night. Heard he's really good. Saw that on Twitter that maybe this guy's good. I got Vic. I'm trying out this Finneran card. You know, snipe the Bruce Smith. I'm just trying a bunch of different stuff here, seeing what's working. But that is kind of my plan for investing this week. Let's also talk about something I want you to keep your eye on for sets throughout the week. This has a lot of potential here, as it does every single week. It just kind of depends on, you know, how you can get these cards, where the market's at, how many cards are on the market, just kind of all types of different variables. And that is going to be the Michael Vick set. This set is solely reliant on this 85 overalls price. This 85 Michael Vick is what is inflating this set so much. This guy, this card has gone down in price. It was about 420 earlier to 450. He's come down a little bit, um, but yeah, this set here, just keep an eye on it. Check the price of 88 Vic. Add up the entire cost of this set. The problem here is that, the, really, with this set, there's two problems, and these can only be solved if you're sniping the cards, or it just has to do with a bunch of different variables, right? It's the the variable of this 85 Mike Vic. What is his price? As well as how cheap are you getting your 82s, and how cheap are you getting your 79s? Because these 85s are going to be fairly fairly you know consistently and consistent in price i don't expect these to change too much these will be you know anywhere between 90 to 100k throughout the entire week and they should not change too much because they can be used in other sets uh as well as the legend set but this set has to be a legend card so they're going to be fairly pricey throughout the entire week because you need them for these legend sets however i expect this this 85 to write to, to you know decrease in price which will decrease the price in the 88 vic but they don't always decrease at the same time. So if 85 Vic decreases, you know, a little bit before the 88 does, it might be only like an hour window from time to time where the prices will just be off. There will be a lot of potential for profit in this set throughout the week. So it's not a bad idea to just come in here and check in the evening before you go to bed, whatever, when you, before school, whatever you want to do or before work, whatever you got going on. It's not a bad idea to check that, build the set, sell it, and then it could sell throughout the day. Just put it up for eight hours. Put the card up for eight hours. You can come back after work and score whatever, and uh, you can check to see if that card sold. So that is that. Also, just something you guys should be doing right now is getting through your comp pass. Absolutely want to do that. We are coming up on the availability for George Pickens. That's going to be a good card that will be available. I'm not going to have this card by Friday, but this card will be available by Friday. And you know what that means? That means on Friday, we're going to have the first 89 overall, which leads me to the next point. We are probably going to see an overall increase in about two weeks. That is my prediction here. Not this coming Friday, but the you know the Friday after that, or probably the Thursday after that for the promo. The Thursday promo after this Friday, we are probably going to see an overall increase to 89. That's my prediction. They're not going to let a free card be the highest overall card in the game for too long. So this will just be for the, the people that really grind the game hard. You will be getting this card as 89 overall before there are any other 89s, but expect an overall increase very, very soon. So if you're holding on to any 88s, it's not going to be a bad idea in about a week to sell. So just keep that in mind. Something to have in the back of your head for the next week. We are probably going to see an overall increase within the next two weeks is like the maximum I'd give it. In two weeks, we will have an overall upgrade to 89. So keep that stuff in mind. Uh, just don't forget that because that will be very important in the future. And I will go over that as we get closer to that, that point. So also, my last point in this video here is something you guys should be doing. Coming in here to your binder, there are three te uh, theme teams that are on the rise right now because of new cards coming out. Go through your binder, look through all your golds, Look for Chiefs players, Eagles players, and Falcons players. Those are three theme teams that are on the rise right now, which is causing some of these cards to go up in price. Someone like AJ Terrell is not going to sell for that much because he does have like a free 86. So, you know, that'll be that. But if you can find any like Chiefs fullbacks or, you know, any of those fullbacks or whatever, 
kickers, punters, sometimes linebackers, D tackles, a bunch of different positions are just really overpriced from time to time because they are on uh, popular theme teams. And those golds end up going for a lot. So just come through here, check. Not a bad idea. The linemen especially will go for a lot from time to time. The positions that won't are like wide receiver and running back and cornerback. Those don't usually go for that much. But any of those linemen and the special teams players and like the fullback, those guys could be pretty expensive. So it's not a bad idea. Just go ahead and check. It's, it doesn't hurt to go check, right? So just go ahead and do that. That is all I have for you guys today. A lot of stuff to go over tomorrow. I'll go over some AKA stuff, how I'm going to prep for that, as well as whatever methods we have tomorrow. The best filters, as always. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you all did enjoy the video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe below. And I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me. Peace out.